Hi there, Jeff here from Sorted Circle, uh, introducing you to the NSP Elements range, uh, talking a little bit about um, who this board would be good for and uh, the difference between the NSP Protec range and the Element range. Uh, but essentially, the NSP Element range um, covers quite a sort of broad spectrum of boards. Um, you've got sort of short boards, obviously, which are more for progressive surfing and for people that are maybe a bit more advanced. Uh, then you've got the fun boards, which are sort of the 7.2, 7.6 mid-length boards, and then we do do the sort of 8, length, eight foot and 9 foot and even up to 10 foot in the element range for more like the long board side of things. But in general, these boards are kind of are targeted at people that are probably stepping up in terms of their sort of skill level. Uh, so if you're coming off of a foamy uh, and you're looking for something which is going to be a bit more progressive, uh, these boards are ideal. And we tend to stock most of the boards in the sort of mid-length range because they're ideal for someone coming off like an 8-foot or a 9-foot or a 7-foot foamy. Uh, and the reason for that is they're lighter um, and they are sort of more sort of progressive on the rails, the tails are more sort of pulled in, there's more flick in the nose, uh, and uh, they're just really a good option for sort of a people kind of um, looking to get better essentially and um, having the tools to be able to do that. Or if you're an intermediate surfer and you are just looking for sort of a, a good robust board that'd be good in sort of small waves, south coast waves, or a decent long board which doesn't cost you know, a huge amount of money, uh, but then these are definitely a good boards to consider as well. Um, so the, this is an element and you might be looking, if you're looking at online or if you're speaking to someone about the NSP range, you might have heard of Protec and Elements. So fundamentally what the difference is, and you might have noticed a bit of a difference in the price. In the element range, you've got the EPS core, which is a nice robust foam essentially. Um, which gives it uh, that sort of lightweight feel because it's very lightweight uh, but it's also quite strong so it's a good foam to use in the core. The elements range one of the key things is it has a stringer, it has a fiberglass stringer running down the middle of the board um, underneath what is this basically gel coating okay uh, and that essentially gives it uh, more strength um, so uh, more longevity in the board and it can be much more durable okay and then that gel coating is the same thing as well it sort of the, uh, gives it that sort of um, pop out plasticky feel uh, but it's especially good at uh, making the board more robust so if you are again coming off of a foamy something like that and you're considering like a standard fiberglass board versus something like this the benefits of this is it's going to be more robust and especially in these sort of UK conditions or especially in sort of south coast conditions around Bournemouth. Um, you do run up onto the beach quite a bit when you're learning to surf. So having that sort of extra um, strength in the board, especially in the coating, especially on the shell of the board, is quite useful so you don't have to constantly go and get it repaired. Um, but that's the elements. You've got that fiberglass stringer, you've got the gel coating, you've got the EPS core, you've got hand polished rails on it as well. So you can sort of check that out. It's kind of nice, gives it that sort of like high sort of glossy finish. Um, but essentially, that's the elements range. So it's, it's heavier than the Protec, but definitely stronger. If you move down into the Protec range, you lose the five glass stringer, you get the EPS core still, so very, very lightweight, but you lose that stringer. So uh, it's not gonna be as strong. It's not gonna have any sort of flex, as much flex in it, um, but it's gonna be very, very lightweight. It makes it cheaper, because it's cheaper to construct, but it does make it sort of uh, probably less um, robust than the elements. But if you're looking for a really lightweight board, and obviously all the things that come with a lightweight board, so it being more performance, more responsive, that kind of thing, and easier to handle in the water, and obviously cheaper, then the Protec might be a good option. But if you're looking for something which is more robust, uh, more hard wearing, uh, and is going to probably last longer in terms of an actual shelf life, then it's probably worth spending the extra on the elements. Basically, the elements range uh, and the Protec range are geared up towards people improving, as I said before, um, or for people intermediate, or maybe even more advanced people just looking for a good small wave board. And uh, there's a huge amount of options. You have got that short board, so if you're looking for sort of like a cheaper, more robust short board, that option is there. Um, but those sort of mid lengths and long boards are a really great option, uh, especially on the south coast.